Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I've been at the doctor's office, I've gotten blood drawn, I got a shingle shot, I got a shot in my knee. Man, I feel like a freaking pincushion, but you know, I ain't mad at him because my knee is 100% better than it was. And uh, I'm hopefully everything is good as far as health wise. You got to keep up on top of that stuff and, uh, you know, make sure, you know, it's kind of like your car maintenance. If you don't change your oil, the engine's going to burn the F up. So our Cowboys are going to be getting on the field in about another hour and a half. And I can't wait to see some more of the headlight, uh, excuse me, the highlights from practice because I I'm getting excited. I want you to watch. While well, I was in the doctor's office here, I spent a little time with this clip of Navelle Gallimore. And this morning in my morning video, I talked about you know him basically talking about more than football, about the money. It's about being the best player that he can be and the hunger. I got to tell you, uh, watch the clip. Just, just watch the clip here. Watch it and enjoy like I said, I broke it down a little bit and get, just to give you a taste, a real taste of what that guy can do. You know what? He has really great hand strength, okay? I know it's only a sled, but see, this is the subtlety that most people, most fans will never get to and understand about playing defensive line. You know, I played nose guard back in the day, and you gotta understand that technique is everything. If you're too high on the play, you're gonna get blown the hell out of the, out of the hole. And it's a matter of making sure you're the low man that wins, but also having that hand strength to be able to get in there and control. And if you become a read and react defense, you have to literally get your hands on the guy and be able to feel which way he's trying to turn you and learn to fight the pressure, okay? You have to fight the pressure and go against where he's trying to push you. And that all goes into hand strength. And then of course, you have all the different stunts and moves and things that you're doing. You know, For me, it was a jab, step, and rip. And what that was, was me using, I was small, but I was quick. And that was, you take a step to the left, and the offensive lineman steps with you because that's where he's trying to stop you from going. And then you cut across his face, you dip the shoulder, and you rip with your arm. That way you're giving the guy a really small target, and you're hard to control. And he's off balance because he had stepped to the left. And if you do that, boom, you're literally in the guy in the dirt. Then, of course, there's the swim where you're literally going over top of, of the man and, again, giving them a small target here. But there's also the club. And Navelle Gallimore, seeing him you know, stand up that and then shed, boom, because that club is going to get his hands and get his body awkwardly off you. Now, famously, Deacon Jones did that club, but instead of to the body and to the hands to keep him off of it, it was a head slap. And what you understand is where the head goes, the body will follow. And this is where Dan Quinn is becoming the sensei, the master, the true teacher. You know, it's kind of like uh, Karate Kid, you know, wax on, 
and wax off. You know, Danny was like, what, what is this? Ah, man, I don't want walk, to, walk, you know, wax on the car and wipe it off. Man, what you, I want to came here to learn karate. But you got to understand, all of these movements and things that you move can translate into different things. And in the same way, you teach people things that they don't necessarily know they're, they're, they're learning or different ways where Dan Quinn is using, you know, sucker MCs to say, listen, you're going to hear a hundred different words. You're only going to be able to absolve 10 of them. And we're going to do this exercise so that way you can understand of getting the key pieces and components of it together. You're not going to be able to absorb everything, but if you can get enough of it that you're going to get those skills down, man, brother, that, that's going to be a beautiful thing. And as I see Navelle Gallimore, a guy who's almost been forgotten because of, you know, getting Quentin Bohannon and, and, and bringing in uh, Brent Urban and Carlos Watkins and drafting OC, that he's going to be one of those guys that's going to be key on this defense of getting this thing together and getting us where we belong. You know, people want to focus in on, you know, the linebackers and the cornerbacks. you got to have a great safety and stuff. But I'm telling you, you get more bang for your buck if you've got a great front seven and especially a great defensive line. Don't sleep on the importance of how much a defensive line makes a difference. If you are the linebacker and you've got a Navelle Gallimore who is beasting and able to put pressure, because remember when he literally trucked Mike Pouncey, when you have to worry about a guy coming from the three technique like that, then that means you're going to need to double team him with the guard in the center or a guard and the tackle because he can blow up the play. And if he does that, then that makes it more difficult to double team D Law. You follow me? And if you got D Law free, he's getting a double team. Well, guess what? The guard's not getting to the linebacker. The linebacker's getting unmolested as he's working his way upfield to make a play. All of these things go together. And if, if the quarterback is worried about that guy coming in and getting at his knees and, and, and jacking him up, he's going to throw that ball quicker, which means your safeties, your cornerbacks, don't have to hold for as long. So understand... The biggest thing that I'm excited for is the development of this defensive line under Dan Quinn. And you think about the Legion of Boom, you know, you think about all the takeaways that they got and stuff. All that started from the defensive line where Dan Quinn had a lot of really good defensive linemen. It wasn't about having one guy that was just like a Hall of Famer. It was about having about eight guys that I can rotate in there and keep them fresh and keep them coming after you over and over and over again. So be excited. Be happy at what the Dallas Cowboys are building right now. And I can't wait to see some more of these highlights from practice. Um, it's kind of cool to be able to start breaking some of this down and actually looking at some of the techniques that these guys have and their abilities. But definitely, this defensive line is going to be very fast and physical. And I know that'll bring a smile to Dan Quinn's face. Hope you guys are having a great hump day. And um, i got to go over here and get some wood so I can build some more cabinets. Because you, know, you always tell me, don't quit your day job because there's no future for you on YouTube. Peace.